Now let's understand the exceptions to the law of demand. First, conspicuous goods. What are conspicuous goods? These are demonstration goods. You can also call them ostentatious goods. Ostentatious goods or Veblen goods. Now these are those goods which can be afforded only by the higher class people. These are luxurious goods like diamonds, like an imported car. These are very costly goods. So what happens is in these goods, as the price goes up, people tend to buy more and more of these goods. This phenomenon was noted by Dr. Veblen. He noticed that as the price of costlier goods or the luxurious goods is rising, the demand for those goods by these rich people also rise. So these conspicuous goods are also called as Veblen's goods. Now please note that in these cases, please note that in this case the law of demand does not apply. Normally, when the price of a good falls, it is only then that the quantity demanded of it rises. But in case of conspicuous goods, when the price rises, it is then that the demand for it rises. And when the price falls, the demand for it falls. Because people tend to buy these conspicuous goods to show off to show off their wealth to others, to show off their prosperity to others. So when the price falls, such goods lose their show off value. So people do not intend to purchase these goods. Likewise, when the price goes up, their value of showing off goes up and people tend to buy more of it. Next, defense goods. Giffen goods are also called as inferior goods. In England, there was a psychologist by the name of Robert Giffen. He noticed an unusual phenomenon there. The phenomenon was normally the people of the poor class consumed more of bread and people of the richer class consume more of meat. He noticed that when the price of bread fell, people of the poor class switched to eating or consuming more of meat because bread was considered to be an inferior good. So when the price of bread fell, they had more disposable income at their hand that income was used to consume meat. So, when they consumed meat, lesser quantity of bread was required. So, the demand of bread fell. Now, this is an exception to law of demand. The law of demand suggests that the quantity of a product which is demanded by the people falls when the price rises and the quantity demanded increases when the price falls. But here, in case of inferior goods, the demand is falling because of a fall in price and demand is rising because of a rise in price. So, this is an exception to law of demand. The next point is necessaries. Necessaries are those goods which are very much necessary as the word says, necessary for leading a normal life. Goods like food, clothing, shelter, even services like education are very much necessary for leading a normal life. And goods which are necessaries are exception to the law of demand. 
because in case of necessaries a change in price does not affect their demand how much ever the price changes we do not tend to change the consumption pattern of necessaries take salt for example when the price of salt falls down we do not tend to consume salt more or when the price of salt goes up we do not tend to reduce the consumption of salt because salt is required as a necessity next is conspicuous necessities now we have learned what are conspicuous goods we have learned what are conspicuous goods these are superior goods but what are conspicuous necessities conspicuous necessities are those goods which started off as superior goods as luxurious goods but later on have become necessities in our life for example a cell phone a ac a tv when these products initially came into market only the superior or the rich class could afford them and these were luxuries for the middle class or the poor people but now mobile phones tvs and acs have become necessities for all so when such goods become necessities like in the case of necessaries the law of demand does not apply a change in price does not affect the consumption pattern of conspicuous goods when the price of acs rise when the price of tvs rise we do not stop to purchase tvs we do not purchase lesser number of tvs from the market so the law of demand does not apply to conspicuous goods and they are exception to the law of demand next future expectation about price future expectation about price we are very much driven by this concept we are always interested in knowing about the future price of the product for example in the share market we are always interested in knowing the future price of let's say the share of infosys if we think in future infosys if we think in future the share price of infosys will go up we tend to purchase more of it and if we think the share price of infosys will go down we will want to sell the share now please bear in mind that the price of the share has not gone up or gone down it is only the future expectation about the price that leads to increase or decrease in demand so to these goods wherein we have an expectation about future the law of demand does not apply speculative goods speculative goods like diamonds gold these are exception to the law of demand because in speculative goods like in case because in speculative goods as we have discussed in the above point that we tend to expect the price in future when we purchase gold we purchase it as an investment thinking that we will get a higher price in the future same is the case in case of real estate purchase when we purchase a shop or when we purchase a house as an investment we always think that in future we'll get a higher price now please bear in mind that the price now has not fallen it is only the expectation about future price that is making us purchase more of the house or the diamond so this is an exception to the law of demand last point irrational purchases many a times we do irrational purchases what happens is we see our neighbors we see our peers purchase things let's say our neighbor has purchased a new car 
we also tend to purchase the new car just to show him that we are no lesser than him so this is an irrational purchase as we possibly do not require car as of now but just to prove our credibility prove our prosperity before our neighbors we are purchasing the car we term this as an irrational purchase because it is not required so in case of irrational purchases even if the price is increasing we tend to purchase we do not wait for the price to fall to purchase those goods so this is an exception to law of demand